Hey guys, so we just updated that 7-speed hub off of the Villano Atom with a DNP 7-speed 11 tooth to 30 tooth uh, free hub, free wheel. So what we did is we did take apart all that stuff and to install it, and you can see in the previous video linked afterwards or even linked below. I also updated the the pedals, the floating pedals, which I got off of Amazon, and they were like around 15, 16 bucks. It was pretty worth it because it didn't come with floating pedals. It came with regular BMX pedals or mountain bike pedals. So swip that in so that I should uh, transport my bike better when it's all folded up. So it wasn't that expensive, but I put the links below as well. At the seven speed, basically we have a better ability to control the bike, and that's the real reason why I updated it. So this is my first ride out with a new uh, seven speed hub i'm just going at about 20 kilometers per hour which is roughly around you know 12 miles per hour not really that much but i'm here over in long beach which is really cool uh, they actually have bike paths everywhere and it's actually pretty straightforward to bike anywhere you really want um, along the coast so at 23 just with, with assist you have plenty of um, pedal space you know or able to pedal at seven speed um, at the same time you can still go back to the 30 tooth uh, you know you know um, Thing to control it but at 29 miles or 29 kilometers per hour it's actually very very controllable you could actually go up at the maximum uh, maximum assist on this thing and hit up to about 35 kilometers per hour which is um, roughly about 21 miles to 21 miles per hour but even on this uh, straightaway and stuff it's actually not bad I could control it pretty well um, slowing down on the boardwalk it's on uh, non-pavement on boardwalk this bike absorbs a lot of the shock. You can still feel it, of course, because of the tires. But the tires itself only go up to about, I think it was about 45 or 50 PSI. It wasn't really high. Um, and it's not like the high pressure Dahan tires, um, Kenda tire, uh, street tires that they have. But it still absorbs most of the shock because of the lower PSI. And I'm going roughly at 18 kilometers per hour, which is not that fast. That's actually about um, roughly 12 miles per hour. But I'll slow down on the actual bo boardwalk where the actual people are there. But it does absorb a lot of the um, a lot of the shock. So on this tiled pavement, again, not like the how that scoot, electric scooter was that, that I reviewed before. On pavement and other pavement like this, you know, I slowed down to about eight miles to five miles per hour because there's people. But overall, the tires ha handle it pretty well. It absorbs most of the shock. It doesn't slip on this pavement, and it's pretty grippy. Um, not super grippy, but it works. And this bike kind of shakes and stuff uh, because it is a folding bike and it is pretty tight but at the same time you know it's after this is like my i think i already put 90 kilometers for kil kilometers on this thing which is close to about well 90. wow that's almost um about a good 20 30 40 miles anywho long story short it's been pretty cool i did add that rack which you probably saw beh behind me the rack and stuff but on pavement it's fine um Biking, out, um, this is my typical lunch. I bike around two and a half miles to this uh, endpoint, which basically I get to see some water and stuff. This is right on the Long Beach coast. I work right in downtown Long Beach. So this is pretty awesome. You, you guys could see this coast and that big um, fake man-made island that's uh, actually, I think it's an oil refinery or something. But there's just several of these things across the way. Just in case you're ever interested, that's what you see on, off the coast of Long Beach. And of course you have people going to the beach as well. So now take it up on, if you go onto long straightaways on the bike path, you could go, you could really pipe, go really quick because there's no one on the bike path. Um, there's separate jogging paths and several biking paths and in the middle of lunchtime, there's really no, not. Unlike the Saunders bike, my, basically there's plenty of clearance and of uh, where the main frame is. So my knees don't really hit anything on this bike, which is really good. And again, you know, at 26 kilometers per hour to up to about 30 kilometers per hour, you could still have a lot of control with that seventh, the highest gear right now. Um, so overall, I went all the way to that Memorial um, Pier over about four miles away from my workplace from downtown. The only thing I don't like about this bike is that it's starting to get loosened up and that center quick release is starting to loosen up as well. But overall, it's an awesome little bike um, with that rack and the little extra accessories. It's pretty cool. I'm experimenting with adding rollers to it so I could transport this thing a lot easier because it is about 40 pounds of weight, you know, before I even put the rack and everything else on. So it's kind of hard. Also, with the Chevy Volt, basically there is a big lip that I need to lift over. And, you know, well, I just throw the bike right in there. It's not a big deal. But that is a bit an issue. Anyways, stay tuned for more. Like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And please look at the previous videos linked below. Thank you. Have a great one. Bye-bye.